this problem, says Pam jog up a hill at 6 kilometers per hour, then jog back down at 10 kilometers per hour. How many kilometers did she travel in all if her total jogging time was 1 hour 20 minutes? Let's first convert the 1 hour and 20 minutes to a fraction. So 20 minutes out of 60 minutes per hour. That's one third. So one hour and 20 minutes is one and a third of an hour or four thirds of an hour. Okay, now we're gonna set up a chart. We're going to do an uphill downhill and then total and we know that rate times time equals distance so going uphill her rate is six kilometers per hour Going downhill, her rate is faster. It's 10 kilometers per hour. We know that if we know the total distance is what we are looking for, how many kilometers did she travel in all? Okay, so we're going to let this time be t. It doesn't matter which one, you can either let the uphill one bt or the downhill one bt. So if it took her a total of four thirds of an hour, if, the, if it took her t hours to go downhill, then it took her four thirds minus t to go uphill. And we know that these two distances, the uphill distance, let's call it d1, and the downhill distance, let's call it d2, is, they're equal to each other. We know d1 is equal to d2. She went up the hill, then she came down the hill, the same distance. Okay, so we know that 6 times 4 thirds minus t has to equal to 10 times t. We're going to distribute the 6 times 4 thirds here, 6 times 4 thirds. You can either use your calculator or just do it this way. We can reduce this. So that's 8. So we're distributing the 6 to the parentheses here. So that's 8 minus 6t equals 10t. We add 6t to both sides. So 8 equals 16t. Divide both sides by 16. So t is a half. That means it took half hour to go downhill because that's what t represented for the time that it took to go downhill. So if we do 10 times a half, that's a 5. That's 5 kilometers to go downhill, which should be the same as going uphill. So 5 kilometers to go uphill, 5 kilometers to go downhill. So total distance is 10. 5 plus 5, or 5 times 2, so that's 10 kilometers.